Once upon a time, in the kingdom of Ote, there lived a beautiful princess named Adana. She was the daughter of King Ode, a wise and just ruler, loved by his people. Adana had a deep love for nature, and often found joy exploring the nearby forest. One sunny morning, Adana decided to venture into the forest alone. Without her gas or maids, she marveled at the beauty of the trees and the gentle rustling of leaves. Lost in her thoughts, she wandered deeper and deeper into the forest, unaware of the dangers that lay ahead. Suddenly, a big lion emerged from the bushes. It fierce eyes set on Adana. Fear gripped her heart and she started running as fast as she could. But the lion was faster, closing in on her with each passing moment. Adana knew her end was near, so she closed her eyes and prayed fervently to the cause of her safety. Just as she thought all hope was lost, a loud scream pierced through the air. Adana opened her eyes and saw the lion lying dead an arrow protruding from his chest. She looked around and saw a stranger approaching her. He was tall and strong, with a kind smile on his face. The stranger helped Adana to her feet and escorted her out of the forest, ensuring her safety. Once they reached the outskirts, he bid her farewell and disappeared back into the forest. Adana was filled with gratitude and curiosity about the mysterious man who had saved her life. When she returned to the palace, she found the entire kingdom in a state of panic due to her prolonged absence. Not wanting to cause more worry, Adana assured everyone that she had simply gone for a stroll and was perfectly fine. However, that night her thoughts were consumed by the hassle stranger who had come to her rescue. Unable to contain her curiosity any longer, Adana decided to seek out the stranger. Every morning, she would sneak out of the palace and sit by the entrance of the forest, hoping to catch a glimpse of him. She would sing with her angelic voice, hoping that he would be drawn to her. Days turned into weeks, but Adana kept her hope alive. She would hide behind a big Iroko tree, singing her heart out, waiting for the stranger to appear. But as the sun set each day, disappointment washed over her, for he never showed up. One night, her father, the king, summoned her and told her that she has been chosen as the bride for Prince Chike of Obo Kingdom. To unite their kingdoms, Adana was not happy to hear this and she cried herself to sleep that night. The next morning, she went to her usual place to wait for the stranger. She was shocked to see him at her spot waiting for her. He told her that his name was Azuka, a hunter. He has been watching and listening to her sweet songs all these days was waiting to see her determination. Instantly, they fell for each other, igniting a fire that would defy the tradition of Ote Kingdom. Azuka and Adana continued to meet secretly in the bush to share stories. He told her all about his adventures as a hunter, and she was amazed at every one of them. Their love blossomed into something magical. Meanwhile, the people of Obo and Prince Chike has been coming to the palace with gifts. One evening, Adana summoned courage and told her father that she was not interested in marrying the prince and he should stop welcoming them. He rebuked her immediately, telling her that it is her duty as the princess to marry Prince Chike for Ote Kingdom as they stood a lot to gain from the very rich Ugo kingdom. King Odi threatened his daughter that he would disown her if she refused to marry the prince. Adana and Azuka met the next morning at their usual spot, 
and she told him about her father's head bent decision to marry her to Prince Chike. So Adana suggested that they run far away and get married to each other. She was ready to risk it all and even lose her princess status to be with the man she truly loves. In the dead of the night, while all the guards were deeply asleep, Princess Adana escaped with Azuka, leaving behind her father and everyone she grew up to know, embarking on a journey to nowhere with the stranger she loves. On their way, Princess Adana thought about her maternal grandmother, Mama Ijeoma. She knew her grandmother would accept them. So they turned towards Ofante to meet her grandmother. After three days, they arrived at Ofante, hungry and dirty. Mama Ijeoma welcomed them with open hands. After beating and a good me, Adana told Mama Ijeoma her story. She acknowledged that Adana is just as stubborn as her mother, her late daughter, Adora. Mama Ijeoma, understanding the power of young love, allowed Adama and Azuka to stay in her house. She became very fond of Azuka and was happy that her granddaughter chose him. Back in Ote Kingdom, King Odi's heart has been shattered by his daughter's escape. He was ready to sacrifice anything, fight transitions, to have his darling daughter back. He organized a search party and they began to search for Adana. Soon they caught his tray that they were in Ofante. The king went to Ofante and begged his daughter for forgiveness, that he was ready to accept whoever she chose as her husband to be. Adana introduced Azuka to her father and he had no option than to accept him. King Odi sent a message to Okbo Kingdom, informing them that the marriage proposal was off. Prince Chike, though disappointed, said, It is their lost anyway, Paul of the Kingdom. The marriage ceremony between Adana and Azuka was arranged, and the kingdom rejoiced. However, three days before the wedding, Azuka revealed his true identity. He is the prince of the great Akata kingdom, the richest kingdom in the land. His father had passed away, and to ascend the throne, he needed to choose a wife. Azuka explained that he had to disguise himself as a hunter to find a woman who was not only beautiful, but also hardworking and not after his world. Adana and King Odi were left speechless, realizing the magnitude of Adana's choice. Days later, Adana and Azuka were married in a grand ceremony. Azuka ascended the throne as the king of Akata kingdom with Adana as his queen. Their marriage united Ote kingdom and the great Akata kingdom. King Azuka used his world to transform his wife's kingdom of origin. Soon, Ote Kingdom became the envy of other neighboring kingdoms. Queen Adana and King Azuka ruled the people of Akata Kingdom with love and compassion for many years. And so the story of Adana and the strange man became a cherished legend passed down through generations, reminding all who heard it the power of true love.